Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to share with you the news that my highly accessible themes for Emacs are now available in the official Emacs Lisp package archive, ELPA. Uh, I want to tell you what this means in practice, uh, share with you the experience I had uh, to uh, submit uh, these themes to ELPA and then perhaps talk a bit about uh, the state of affairs and my uh, outlook uh, going forward with regard to uh, my ongoing development of these themes and my contributions to the Emacs space uh, more uh, generally. Uh, so uh, the fact that they are in ELPA uh, means that I have uh, assigned my copyright to the Free Software Foundation and they in turn have uh, conferred upon me uh, their right, which is basically their recognition, uh, that I can continue developing these, uh, that I am the creator of these uh, themes, and therefrom, from a development uh, stamp standpoint, uh, nothing changes. So I continue to maintain these themes on GitLab. You can get them directly from the Git uh, source if you want. Uh, and there is no change whatsoever with regard to uh, my relationship with this uh, project. What changes is that now the FSF, the Free Software Foundation, has legal authority over those themes. They can, in practical terms, enforce the GNU General Public License if the need ever arises to bring a case uh, before a court of law. And in practice, from the FSF's uh, standpoint, this means that should the developers of Emacs ever uh, decide, they could safely include these themes in the core Emacs uh, distribution. Of course, they are now just in ELPA, they are not in core, but in terms of uh, the legal standing of, these, uh, of this project, it can now be included in Emacs uh, proper. Um, now, the difference between the ELPA archive and the MELPA uh, repo is that um, ELPA only takes uh, tagged releases. So you can see here, if you run MX list packages, uh, you will see that, that there is a, a MELPA and a GNU package. For, by the way, I didn't mention the names of my themes, sorry about that. It's Modus Operandi, it's the light theme that I am using here, and Modus Vivendi, it's the last theme that I am using. You can check my last video or videos before to see these themes in action. Uh, the overarching objective of these themes is to always conform with a minimum contrast ratio of 7 to 1 between the foreground and the background when you are looking at a piece of text. And the idea is that this is the highest accessibility standard of its kind. And in practical terms, it means that these themes always try to be as legible as possible and legibility is its number one uh, priority. So that's the very general idea. Uh, but back to the point of the differences between ELPA and MELPA. ELPA is configured by default. You don't need to do anything. The first time you run uh, MX list packages, you will already get all the packages that are available in ELPA. Now, the differences between the two is that ELPA has tagged releases, whereas MELPA builds directly from master from the latest uh, git commit. So for example, modus operandi is now at version uh, 0.6 in ELPA, whereas uh, which this was, um, I released this version maybe some 10 days ago, maybe something like that. And in the meantime, I have made about 15 or 20 commits. I'm not sure right now. Uh, whereas in uh, MELPA, uh, the, last, uh, re the last commit I made to master was yesterday on the 9th of uh, March 2020. Uh, today is the 10th. Uh, and uh, it built directly from uh, master. 
So if you are the kind of person that uses Melpa stable, you may be aware of that. If you are the kind of person more generally that doesn't need to track a master uh, every day, uh, you could uh, opt for the Elpa versions instead. Whenever I release a new uh, tag, Elpa will be updated. Uh, I will make sure that Elpa gets updated uh, to the new release. Now, if you are using use package, actually, let me show it to you in practice. Uh, so if you are using use package, now I have this example here. I have uh, the expand region uh, package. If you want to specify which version you want, you can use the pin. Actually, let me increase the font size a bit. Uh, so here we are. Uh, if you want to specify, for example, that you want a package to come uh, from a specific uh, repo, you specify the name of that repo as it appears uh, in the packages. You see the archive, it says GNU here. So you tell it, I want to pin uh, that package to the GNU version. And this means that you get it uh, from that repo instead of uh, Melpa, in case you have Melpa or any other package uh, archive if you have. Uh, so if you want, you use the pin tag and uh, that's about it. Um, other things, what are some other things? Uh, yeah, the point is that I am uh, continuing to develop these themes. I always uh, expand uh, the support of the packages that are uh, covered. And uh, already the list of uh, packages is rather uh, comprehensive. All the major packages are uh, supported, of course. Uh, but there are others as well which uh, uh, fulfill a more uh, specialized uh, uh, function. Uh, so this is, uh, you will find in the documentation of these themes or in the readme of my Git repo, uh, which I will link to in the description. You will find the full list of all the supported packages. These are explicitly supported, which means that there may also be other packages which inherit from some uh, default set of styles. And of course, these are uh, supported as well indirectly. But these are uh, directly uh, supported over here. Uh, I think uh, I can uh, search maybe, uh, see how many lines this is and uh, from there infer. So it's 165 lines. So this means that uh, 165 packages are explicitly supported uh, as of this writing, as of this recording rather. Uh, and I am always refining them, always uh, adding new uh, packages, always making sure that I address the issues that uh, people uh, bring up in my issue tracker on uh, GitLab. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it, uh, folks. Um, yeah, okay, so that's all. Just to say one last thing, now I am switching to Firefox just in my browser. So this is the repo, I will link to it uh, in the description as well. You can find a wiki with uh, screenshots uh, if you want to check that as well. Um, right now I am uh, eliciting feedback. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. I am eliciting feedback with regard to uh, a possible change that I want to make uh, in the uh, development of these themes concerning diff mode. And now I just pushed uh, some changes to also extend these principles for Magit as well. Because I am recording, things are very slow and browsers these days are the enemy of uh, uh, usability so yeah bear with me please but the idea is that I have a detailed uh, description of what was the prior state of these faces of these uh, styles of this aesthetic and what are the new faces and uh, I have thus far uh, received a few emails and also a comment from uh, Manuel here thank you by the way also for the issues that you uh, bring up uh, Manuel and now I'm also, I also posted uh, this for uh, Magit as well. So uh, you can check that as well. Okay, some new comments over here. Uh, I, I haven't checked them yet. 
Uh, yeah, so if you have any feedback, you can comment on this uh, issue. Uh, you can find it on the sidebar or you can send me an email. If you don't have a GitLab account, please send me an email. Uh, some people have already uh, done so. Uh, and I am collecting uh, this uh, feedback. Of course, if you send me an email, I won't uh, um, uh, share your, uh, your information or anything that's private. Of course, uh, I won't uh, divulge any of that. It's just for me to know uh, what users uh, are thinking about this uh, proposal and whether it would be a good idea to merge it into master. And if I were to merge it, what kind of considerations uh, should be uh, made. Uh, so that's all for now, folks. Uh, I am very happy uh, that uh, the themes are included in ELPA. I will, of course, be keeping track of the mailing lists. Uh, I do so via GNUs, of course, inside of Emacs. I have a video, check my backlog. Um, I am checking the mailing list. So if you uh, report a bug or some other kind of inconsistency via the mailing list. I will see it and uh, reply to you and of course uh, change things uh, accordingly, act accordingly. Uh, and of course if in the future uh, as per now the new legal arrangements uh, the core team of Emacs wants to include these themes in the core uh, distribution, I would be more than happy to uh, help uh, to help in that uh, towards the realization of that goal. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention uh, and uh, see you next time in a tutorial or on some kind of Emacs functionality. Goodbye for now.